Onon Asunis has raised down two offices of the Independent National Electoral Commission in Ezan North local government areas of Eboin State. The police public relations officer in Eboin State, as at the time of this report, is yet to confirm the incident. The resident electoral commissioner for Akwaibo, Mike Ogini, who confirmed the incident, said it happened few hours before a meeting scheduled for Wednesday today between the INEC and heads of security agency over the attack on the commission's offices. However, no casualties were recorded, but the building was badly damaged. The federal government has decided to wade into the ongoing crisis between the Nigerian Labour Congress and the Kaduna state government. In a statement signed by the Deputy Director of Press and Public Relations of the Federal Ministry of Labor and Employment, the federal government is appealing to the wearing factions in Kaduna to shield their sword. The minister, Chris Ingege, in a statement expressed the hope that the Kaduna state government will not escalate the situation with his comments. The protest enters the third day today as labor leaders are already on the streets of Kaduna in continuation for the agitations. Meanwhile, the Nigerian Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas, Nupeng, has threatened to go on a nationwide strike over the attack on the leadership of the Nigerian Labor Congress in Kaduna. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has commenced investigations on the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Prince Uche Sekondos, over an alleged 10 billion naira fraud leveled against him, anti graft agency in a document obtained by newsmen in Abuja, invited the party's national auditor, national organizing secretary, and director of finance to meet with its head of operations at the EFCC national headquarters, Jabi Abuja, today. And that's our package on news headline on VOS TV. I am Blessing Raji.